Good afternoon, um, Body of Christ. Today is um, April 21st. Um, I'm coming today to bring forth a word from the Lord. Um, as always, I pray that you receive received in love and that you're blessed by um, what he has to say today. Um, thus saith the Lord, I, Yahshua, will return for a bride without spot, blemish, or wrinkle, just as you spoke to my child. Yes, that was my Holy Spirit speaking. Um, and he's speaking of someone that I spoke to earlier. Um, he says, keep yourselves prepared and encourage one another. Reach out to one another as brothers and sisters ought to do. See that none are in need of prayer. See that you let none fall by lift. I'm sorry. See that you let none fall by lifting them up to heaven in prayer. See this. And when he showed me this, he wanted me to close my eyes. So close your eyes and see what he wants you to see. See this. The body is a circle and everyone in my body are holding hands to keep the body together. But as the enemy attacks members in this circle, you are to hold tight to their hands to keep the body from being broken. This is done by prayer and encouragement. See that your brothers and sisters are well and turning from sin because I am coming. I love my bride, your Savior, Yeshua. Okay, um, Hebrews 3.13. Um, I'm sharing this in the, um, the NIV. Um, it says, but encourage one another daily as long as it is called today so that none of you may be hardened by sin or deceitfulness. Um, when he shared this with me this morning and I closed my eyes to understand what he was saying, we, as the body of Christ, we must hold on to each other to keep us keep each other from falling. You know, because we're family, we're brothers and sisters, and He wants us to hold tight to each other, and we do that by encouraging one another, by praying for one another, um, by calling one another. And just saying, you know, are you okay today? Do you need prayer? Um, and if any needs prayer, please let one of your brothers and sisters know that you need prayer. Um, if any of you need prayer and want me to pray, just leave your name and what you want uh, me to pray about. Or just leave your name and just say you need prayer. In the comment box and I will add you to my prayer list and start praying um, this is what we all must do pray for me pray my strength in the Lord please but this is what we all must do so that the enemy does not pull anyone out of the circle of the body of Christ and so when I close my eyes and and hear what the Lord is saying we're family and we're to, we're to not let that enemy break this circle, the body. We're not to let our brothers and sisters fall, and we know that they're falling, or, or if you know they're going through some type of battle, we're not to sit by and not do anything about it. We pray for them, and we lift them up by encouraging them that that. You know, they can get through this battle, you know, and and whatever the Lord will have you to do to, to lift up your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. 
because we all have the same goal and that's to be with our Lord and Savior forever. So I pray that you are blessed by this word today and please be encouraged that that soon we will be with the Lord and we will be out of this evil world and there will be no more sorrow, no more tears, no more pain, you know. <laughs> Let's get to heaven. Let's let's go be prepared when our Savior returns. May God bless you. Um, keep your your bodies clean and holy. You repent and turn from sin. Um, if you do not know the Lord as your personal Savior, um, today is no better day than to give your life to the Lord and confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And believe that God rose him from the day from the dead and you shall be saved and if you decide to do that turn from sin you know repent and ask God to forgive you for everything that you have done you know confess your sins to the Lord and ask him to forgive you and turn from sin and decide that your life is new and you're gonna live differently because of what the Lord has done for you and, you know, do, in doing that, you'll be ready when the Lord returns for you. So may God bless you and you have a wonderful day.